my channel my name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. Today I'm going to share with you some things that I'm planning on making over the next season. Um, a lot of you requested last time I did a video that you would be really happy to see the sort of things that I have planned and that there would be no pressure to make those things if I didn't actually get around to doing them. So I have a big wish list as I'm sure lots of you guys do. Um, so I'm going to categorise things into things like you know the skirts that I like to make, the tops, etc. Um, some of the things I would really like a bit of advice and help on, so I'm really hoping that you can help with that too. So I'm going to get started as fast as I can and um, go through because I have quite a few things to share with you. The first thing I'm going to share before I get started on any of my sewing things are a couple of knitting things. So as some of you know, over the last couple of videos, I've shared with you some things that my daughter has made. She's part way through making something at the moment. This is a um, Rowan Hayes um, yarn that she's been using. It is, I cannot express to you how soft and lightweight and gorgeous this is, but she's part way through knitting this and she's been knitting it on like four different needles all at the same time so there's no seam on it whatsoever it's just straight up and down like a tube so hopefully soon I'll be able to show you that finished garment because it just looks lovely and with her colouring this beautiful baby pale pink I think will really suit her but she's really inspired me to want to have a go at knitting myself so I've bitten the bullet and I've bought a pattern and I've actually started knitting something myself. So this is what I've done so far and it is a straight up and down jumper. It's really, really simple. There's not even any ribbing on the bottom and it's gorgeous. The wool is sort of um, very varying shades of blues and like a dark grey. And I'm really excited about finishing this. I don't seem to have the pattern on me, but I'll pop a picture of the pattern up on the screen so you can see what the finished garment's gonna look like. I've been really unimaginative and I've actually chosen the same color of, as the yarn that they've used on the front cover of the pattern, but I just really love blue colors and um, this really appealed to me. So I'm quite excited about finishing that. This has taken me several weeks. I am not the quickest knitter at all. I've tried to teach myself different ways, um, but I, I've knitted in the same way for years and years and years. Not all that often, but in the same way for a long time. And I just, I can't seem to get myself to, to learn a new way. So it's a bit slow, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, so that's, that's the knitting done and out the way. Now the other thing that I would like to do over the next few months really is I would really like to make myself some underwear, a t you know, underwear top wise, sort of bra or bralette. Now I've seen some really amazing versions of, I think it's called the Mara bra or Mara or Mari bra and if you have a look on Birdie So Obsessed, which is a lady on Instagram, her, she's made several versions of this and they are just beautiful. Now, I don't feel brave enough to do that and I don't have that pattern yet, but I do have in my stash this pattern, which is a, it's called Daisy and it's a bralette and pants set. It actually came in a box set, if I show you what it came with, and I bought this from um, Sew Your Own Wardrobe, which is in Leicester. So this comes with a beautiful, bright, turquoisey lace, um, slightly stretched lace, with contrasting cerise pink, which I just think are fabulous colours together. Um, and it comes with all of the... Um, items that you need to sort of line it so you have a bit of modesty. So I'm really excited about giving that a go. I've had it for a long time and I don't know why. I'm I'm really nervous about doing it. I think because I love the colours so much, I think I'm worried about messing it up but I need to just give it a go because I really want to do the Mara um, bralette and, and unfortunately um, I feel like I can't go on to that until I've given this a go and succeeded with this. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Might not be modelling it, but I'll have a go anyway. So that's underwear. So on to dresses next. And something that I have never made is a fancy dress. And I'm meant to be going to an event at the end of April, uh, which is being held by 
at Make 140, a shop in Plymouth, and you're meant to be making your own dress and it's called Frock Tales. Now I think I've seen people ha hold these sorts of events all over the all over the country so i'm really excited about going to this obviously not quite sure if it's going to actually happen in april because of the whole coronavirus thing um but we'll we'll see and if it's not obviously totally understand but i'm sure it will happen at some point so i wanted to choose something that was relatively simple because i've never made something fancy and i've chosen this dress which is vogue 9252 now it does say very easy, which I'm very happy about. So this dress is a has a fitted bodice with shoestring straps. It's relatively sort of high neckline. And then it's got a very floaty, almost I would say, if it's not a full circle skirt, then it's very nearly a full circle skirt uh, with a dipped hem so higher at the front and lower at the back I really like this I've seen a few versions of this online um, which look absolutely stunning and a very sort of simple fabric now this here looks like it's in very soft swishy fabric and on the back it does say um, what does it say crepe um, rayon that kind of thing but it also says ponty knit and linen blends now I think from the pictures that I've seen online this probably is better if it's in a slightly heavier fabric because it it holds a really beautiful shape rather than just draping so I think depending on what look you want and I would rather have that that shaping but I cannot find material that I like at the moment now I would like something in a um, I would say a monochrome, either a black and white or a grey and white or a, or a blue and white, something like that. If any of you fabric addicts out there um, have seen anything that you think might be appropriate, then do pop something down in the comments because I would love to know um, because I really want to get cracking with this. And like I say, I just can't find anything that I like. So that's a fancy dress that I'm going to be making. Now, I have had this pattern for a while. This is Birda 6609. Now I got this pattern because I saw, um, is it Lucy from So Essential? She made um, a dress, I think it was in a burgundy colour. Now this dress has a zip down the back and um, it has a seam all the way down the front. It comes with different versions. There's either a long sleeve version with patch pockets on the front. There's a sleeveless version uh, which I, well, obviously they've just left the, the pockets off this one. And there's also a sleeve, a short sleeved version. And I like all three of these. There's also the option to have a zipped um, kangaroo type style pocket on the front. Not quite so keen on that, but I really like all three of these. Now, she, what she did is she actually made it out of a Pontaroma or a, or a heavy knit fabric and she left out the zip and brought the seam allowance in obviously so that um that you know there was no there was no zip down the back and um she could just pull it on and off over her head and it looked absolutely fantastic and for work i think this would be a really nice thing to do now this is my idea but again wouldn't mind knowing what you think of it i would like to make this version which is the long sleeve version with two patch pockets on the front now I'm going to make this out of a totally plain black Pontaroma. Now I got this from Haberdashery Fabrics and More which is in Plymouth and what I would like to do is I'd like to do the seam down the front as it is on the dress um, on all of these versions but I would like to do it with um, some white piping that goes all the way down the front and then maybe pipe just the top of each of the patch pockets which go down sort of on your thigh area. I I really like black and white things. I think black and white really suits me and I thought that would be a really nice thing to do. But I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that will work? Um I'm I might just sort of try it and see what it looks like on a on a couple of scraps of fabric and see if the if it looks quite nice. But hopefully um I'll be able to make that and I'll show you that. So that's that's one dress. The next dress that I would like to make is Simplicity K8787. Now this came free with a magazine and I I just bought the magazine because I 
I fancied the magazine and I just checked the pattern in my pattern box and I didn't really give it any more thought. But I went to an event in Leicester in Ashby de la Zouche in the Sew Your Own Wardrobe. They had a Paris soiree sort of event and um, it was really, really lovely. And there was a lady there that turned up. Um, I don't know her full, no her full name or if she has an Instagram handle, I, I can't remember, but her name was Mo. And um, she had this on. She'd made it in a black velvet stretch fabric and it just looked absolutely fantastic and I thought at the time oh yeah I'd really quite like to make that that looks really really nice again haven't given it much more thought since then but a friend of mine had a ruched dress the other day and uh, a, a ready to ready to wear one that she'd bought and it looked absolutely beautiful and I thought do you know what? I'm going to dig that pattern out and give that a go. And I've got this leftover fabric. I don't know if you remember, quite some time ago, I made the um, Deer and Doe Blue A dress, and I, which is a dress that you use contrasting fabric for. And this is what I use for the top part. And I've got loads and loads of it left, and I've never made anything with it. It's just got these, it's black, so I'm, the light's a bit funny here, but it's black and it's got like these splatters, paint splatters on it. And I thought that would look quite nice um, as this dress. Probably going to do the short sleeve version, not quite sure. But as the summer goes on, if I can find a really nice fabric that's maybe, because this is a cotton jersey, if I can find something that's a bit lighter weight, maybe like a viscose jersey or something, I think it would be quite nice in the short sleeve, uh, in the sleeveless version too. Um, so that's another dress that I have on my agenda to make and uh, inspired by Mo. So I, one of the things, I'm still going to talk about dresses because dresses are really big on my agenda for this season. I go to work and I dress up and I wear suits or smart skirts and tops or very, very smart dresses. But when I'm at home, you know, look, I'm just in jeans and a t-shirt and I'm comfortable in that. And I know you can really dress up jeans and, and t-shirts or tops and things, but I steer away from dresses because whilst I love to dress up when I go to work, when I dress up like that at home, I almost feel like I'm dressing for work and I and I really am struggling with my style at the moment. Now, I've seen a few people on Instagram and on YouTube and things doing um, a bit of a, a recheck on their um, wardrobe at the moment. And I think that's such a great idea. Now, I bought for Christmas or somebody bought me for Christmas the curated closet. And I'm partway through reading that at the moment. And it's really, really interesting. It's a great book about re-establishing your style and it's not sort of categorizing you into right well if this is what you like then you must dress like this it's about you really finding you and what you like to wear and that's something that I really want to explore I haven't started yet and I did wonder about possibly doing a bit of a, a video um, diary on it and whether that was something that you guys might be interested in seeing. It might not be, you might just want to see my makes and that's totally fine. But if that is something that you're interested in seeing, then do let me know. I could do it maybe as a, as a full video that I record over a course of a period of time and then just produce one video for you or I could sort of document it as I'm going or I could maybe do short videos on Instagram but let me know, let me know what you think. Um, so on that um, idea of dresses, one of the things that I really like are the long dresses. I, I'm a bit of a fan of um, the style that Kate Middleton wears but I've tried a few things on in shops and they don't always fit me and it's always to do with the length. It's, it has to be the right length for it to suit me. Now, the sorts of things that I like are things like this. And again, the lady, um, Lucy from So Essential, she um, suggested this dress. This is a new McCall's pattern and it's McCall's M8033. I'll list all the patterns in the description box below so that you guys can see where what all the patterns are. But this is a semi-fitted bodice. It's not overly tight, I don't know if you can see that, with a loose style skirt, which 
you can obviously do um, with these different bands. I don't think I would do that. That's not really me. I would probably just do it in one fabric. Um, and I believe it can be shorter or longer. It comes with a long sleeve, which this looks like it's an elasticated um, sort of around the wrist. In fact, I'll show the line drawings um, if it will come into focus. So yeah, so shorter version. Can you see that? Shorter version and longer versions with like this boho type style on that so that's a dress that i'm really really keen on making in that same theme this is new look and this is new look 6574 and this has you can't really see it very well on here but this has almost like a keyhole here i think it possibly buttons up it's almost got a tea dress type style so it's slight ruching around the bust and then it sort of falls from that bust line down now i love this i'm not sure about this length on me i think i'd have to do it either shorter or really long but again that's something i need to play around with so these types of dresses are what i'm really after and i would really like to make for myself and i have a few different um fabrics as well that i that i'll show you so I have from um, Lamazi Fabrics, they had this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous um, rayon fabric or viscose fabric. It is just so beautiful. I love those colours. I think they're so bright and vibrant and I just love it. And I... <laughs> I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those fabrics that I'm too afraid to cut into. It's not that it was overly expensive. It was nothing like that. It was, you know, it was sort of normal kind of price, but I just love it. But I think this in one of these two dresses would be absolutely beautiful. And I, yeah, I really want to do that. But I, I think I'm going to have to make a trial run of both of these patterns um, before I cut into anything like this. So I have this fabric. I also have this fabric, but I don't have a huge amount of it. And again, sort of looking at style and colours and things, I think this colour really suits me. I really like this deep navy and this cerise pink. I'm always afraid about going for pattern, but I just need to be a bit braver. I just need to go for it and make these things. Um, again, this is a viscose. Now, I bought this from a market in Birmingham. I don't know I don't know what the market store was I'm really sorry so I can't tell you that but it was an incredibly cheap fabric and again I think this would really suit this kind of style of dress that said I also love the sew over it penny dress which you've seen me make before and I also love the sew over it 1940s tea dress now I've made this dress before and I've never shown you on any of my videos because it, it just didn't really fit. It was a dress that I made very early on in my sewing journey and I thought I could start blending sizes and all sorts of things and it, and it was a bit of a mess. It is wearable and I could wear it to work but it's it's just it just doesn't feel right so I, I don't ever pick it out of my of my wardrobe to wear. I don't think it falls properly on my bust line. I think that the, the line where the gathering comes, comes slightly up and it should come right underneath. Um, but I put it on the other day and my girls, who are obviously my style gurus, said to me that it, it was a style that really suited me. <clears throat> so I would like to explore that pattern again. And again, maybe in this, I'm not quite sure. So I'll see about that. So those are the sorts of dresses that I really like the look of and the fabric that I've got. I also have this fabric, which I've had for a long, long time. And this is more of a linen-y type feel. It's actually quite stiff. Um, it's softer than a cotton. I think I bought this from Sew Over It. Sorry, it's not ironed. It's all washed, but not ironed. But I bought this from um, Sew Over It um, a year or so ago. It's like a cornflower blue with a white silhouette in it of flowers. I really liked this fabric, but when it came, although I've washed it and I do need to iron it, and it, I think ironing it will make the feel of it um, be different. To me, it's... It almost feels a bit itchy and I've been put off wearing it. So 
I'm wondering about making a dress, a really nice dress out of this, but something that I would have to line so that it doesn't lay right against my skin. Um, dress ideas for that would be very welcomed. I have loads of this fabric. I think I've got three meters of it. So again, pattern ideas, definitely a dress. I would love to have some ideas. I've also, one last dress fabric, I promise. <laughs> have a beautiful beautiful fabric from Minerva now I'm going to be making a dress out of this um and I'm going to be doing that uh, they give they gifted me this in exchange for doing a blog post so I'm very very excited about using this I think I had originally thought I was going to make one of these dresses out of it but now that it's come it's so silky I mean it is absolutely beautiful but it's so silky I think maybe it's a bit too soft for that so I'm thinking maybe the sew over at penny dress instead but again any ideas would be gratefully received so that's the dresses I'll move on to oh actually sorry just one more thing I am part way through making a dress and I will be set, um, putting up a video in at the end of March to show you the makes that I've made from February and March and I ha have almost finished making the sew over it Kate dress so I don't know if you remember I made the Kate top um, a little while ago and I was a bit unsure about the fitting on it had a bit of a play around with that and I've now made the dress nearly made the dress and I have made it out of I've got the remnant of it here I have made it out of this gorgeous viscose fabric now I bought this very very cheaply from a shop called Trago Mills which is a shop I, I believe it's just in Devon and Cornwall but um, they sell um, very cheap fabric and I just went there and and um, bought some of this a year or two ago it's really soft it's really lovely I love the colors of it again I'm not I keep putting the dress on half finished I'm wandering around with it going I don't know if it really suits me but I'll finish making it and um, show you in my next video and you guys can let me know what you think about that so I'm going to move on to tops next so give me a moment I'll grab my bits and pieces for that so on to tops and one thing that I would like to make going back to the sew over at Kate dress I made this as a top in a white um, Swiss dot fabric which I'll, I'll try and put the link in so that you can go back to that if you'd like to see it and my daughter really liked it and so I have bought this fabric again very pale pink to excuse it it's not ironed because it's all washed but this is a pink Swiss dot fabric and I intend to make her the um, sew over at Kate blouse in that it's a it's a really lovely simple blouse the, the dress version comes and it's sort of slightly tailored in at the waist but the blouse version is actually quite boxy and I think that looks quite nice certainly on it on a, somebody younger with maybe high-waisted jeans and then just a, a boxy sort of shirt um, looks quite nice nice little sleeves and things so that's one thing that I'm going to be making now I love the idea of dressing up Wear, when I wear jeans um, a little bit more and again it's something I need to really look into and mess around with and kind of work out because I I am just wearing a t-shirt and I just want to feel a bit nicer and a bit smarter when I am at home we all need to have you know lazy days where we're in our real scruffs because I know you're just having a lazy day or you're watching tv but sometimes you're just out and about and it is nice to feel nice about yourself so um i need to find something that doesn't make me feel like i'm going to work but that i feel a little bit nicer than when i'm having my very lazy days so i've made the pussy bow blouse before and i made this in a fabric which was absolutely beautiful but it really is only appropriate it might for me for work um, again I'll try and put a link into that so you can see the video for that it was really really nice but again I think maybe if I made something in this kind of fabric where it was bright um, and a little bit maybe a bit more fun then that would look quite nice with a pair of jeans or very smart trousers I'll get on to trousers in a moment so pussy bow blouse is something that I would like to make 
And then the other two tops that I think would be quite nice is the Tilly and the Buttons Orla um, top, which is sort of a slightly fitted, and it comes with the option of either doing the um, a little sort of almost Peter Pan type collar or not, short sleeve or long sleeve, and they actually show it with like an exposed zip. And this is in a lightweight fabric. I think this would be quite nice to wear with jeans, um, slightly on the t-shirt type look but smarter at the same time so that's a pattern i've had in my stash for a long long time and i'd really like to make so that's something certainly over the spring and summer of this year that i'd like to maybe have a look at and just the last one on tops is this one here again i've seen versions of this on instagram i think in particular this version here and it just looked fab i mean the lady that had it on i think she had her hair all done up in a in a headscarf as well so she looked really cool and funky um but i really fancy doing something like this in a really nice lightweight floaty fabric i think that with a pair of jeans or very very smart tailored shorts or something would look quite nice so that's my top ideas no fabric suggestions for that but certainly one um patterns that i'd really like to have a little go at i forgot to mention when i was talking about dresses um I have this pattern, Simplicity K8610, and again, this was free with the magazine. It comes with these two sort of soft, um, very um, relaxed style jackets, a pair of dungarees and a dress. And my youngest daughter is really, really into music. I mean, she plays flute and takes her grades and, and all the rest of it. And she would like to find a beautiful music fabrics with music notes and treble clefs and things like that and have this as a little summer dress which I think is a fabulous idea so again that's another dress that I'm hopefully going to be making or even she might have a go at making over the next few months so I'm going to grab the bits and pieces for skirts and trousers and then I promise I'll leave you guys in peace on to skirts and I have got a skirt that I've already cut out. I haven't started sewing it at all. I've really had my eye on the nest skirt and again for some reason I don't seem to have the, the image with me so I'll pop a picture of that up on screen so you can see what that looks like. Now I had this fabric, it was something that my mum had in her stash so it is probably about 30 years old but it is a either a very lightweight denim or a very thick heavy cotton and I've already made a garment out of this for my um, daughter I made a um, oh it was a it was a pinafore and it looked really really fab unfortunately she's grown out of it now which is a real shame because it's absolutely gorgeous and it was one of my proudest makes because I lined all the squares up and everything but I laid this out on a floor I had hardly any of it left and I manipulated this as much as I possibly could to try and get this skirt out and it was a struggle I'm not gonna lie and what I have done is I've hopefully done it so that I'm gonna get the squares lined up and it's all gonna match perfectly obviously it's gonna be perfect <laughs> I hope anyway so I'm hoping to get that done in the next little while now I've made this and it's not in a stretch so I'm slightly worried about that um, but it's a it's a skirt which does say that you can use stretch or non stretch so I'm just gonna tack it together when I start doing it to see how the fit is and if needs be I might just let out the seam allowances a little bit if not um, then well, not quite sure what I'll do, <laughs> I'm honest, but hopefully it will be okay. Apparently, according to reviews, it's a pattern that comes up quite big, so we'll see. I have actually got quite a bit of um, stretch denim left over from making a few bits and pieces in the past, and my middle daughter could really do with a little denim skirt. So I'm hoping that once I've made this up in this, I might be able to make her up one as well, but we'll possibly be easier to fit because it'll be in a stretch denim so that's the nest skirt and like I say hopefully I've put some pictures up on screen for you now I have a couple of other skirts which I'm not going to take out lots of fabric to show you but it's I've just got some stretch denim and I would like to make the um, Ariel skirt by Tilly and the Buttons I've also got some other fabric which 
um, is really old um, again out of my mum's stash which I think would be quite nice to do I just really fancy this as something a bit different and again you know like I was saying before maybe to put something like this on during the during the day when I'm not working would feel quite nice and and I, and I think maybe I need to venture into pinafores and things like that I don't know I um, uh, Amanda from I Sew A Lot made a beautiful, I think it was a Jennifer Lauren pinafore and it was really different from a pinafore that I'd seen before and I absolutely loved it. So again, you know, maybe that kind of thing along with skirts. But for the, oh, and on the style of that kind of skirt, I also quite fancy the Sew Over Erin skirt. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, but that's a button down skirt and it comes in this length or a shorter length. So again, just in a denim, I think that would look really, really nice. But going into the summer, I really like the idea of this pattern, which is Simplicity K1069. And this is a really soft, flowy wrap over skirt and it comes in two different lengths. I just, I just love this. I think that whole image the soft relaxed top quite boxy and then that I mean obviously she's a, a beautiful model <laughs> so that helps but I just think this looks absolutely gorgeous and I think in a really lightweight soft viscosity sort of fabric I think that would look absolutely beautiful so I'm really keen to make something like this but this then takes me on to trousers and I really like the idea of these trousers I don't know if you can see that they've got my camera's really messing up sorry um they've got sort of a um can I get that to come into focus I can't I'm really sorry but this has almost got a a slightly gathered top um but with with them um, darts in the top and just these really huge big baggy trousers which I think then will look a little bit like a skirt once you've got them on I love the idea of that they've got a tie which you can't see unfortunately because I can't get my camera to come into focus maybe I'll try and get a picture up on the screen um but they are just beautiful beautiful trousers I'm so used to wearing well you know here we go, go look I've got tight legs skinny jeans on I'm so used to wearing that and I made the lander pants a little while ago and I just wasn't sure about the style of it on me so again I'm not sure about this maybe I need to have a bit of a shopping experience go in and try some bits and pieces on in town before I commit to making something see what sort of thing suits me but I see people wearing this sort of thing and I think oh it looks really lovely so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go at doing those now I've had this fabric in my stash for quite some time um, I bought this from a fabric called stones which is in top ness it is just lovely it's like a geometric print and it has got lots and lots of stretch to it so there is no problem with fitting now I've made the sew over it ultimate trousers before and I was just going to make those but I really want to give myself a bit of a challenge and one of the patterns that I absolutely love and again I've had this pattern in my stash for a long time is the closet case Sasha trousers I just love the idea that they are they're skinny but not ultra skinny would you call that straight leg is that what you'd call it I'm not quite sure what you'd call it they have like a slightly cropped version and obviously the full length version these have a um, like a, a zip at the front with a um, zip guard coming over it but they also have I don't know if you can see that on the back they also have um, oh, what are the pockets called <laughs> the names completely completely escape me oh anyway but they have oh welt pockets they have welt pockets in the back and I've never done those before I really like the idea of giving that a go so I think that's something that I might do with these with this but I think I want to try in a in a different fabric first because I love this so much and I want this to work so very much that I don't want to mess it up so I will definitely be having a go with some cheaper fabric. So that's one pair of trousers that I really like to go. You should, you should see the pile of stuff that I've got down here. I'm making a right mess. Anyway, a few other patterns that I have bought and I would like to have a go at. 
at, well, have a go at or possibly have a go at. So again, on the style of the slightly softer, wider leg trouser, lots of people seem to be having a lot of success with the Camille jumpsuit, just the trouser section. That's something that I quite like the idea of, but they are very, very wide legged again. So again, not quite sure about that. I have the Nina Lee Portobello trousers. I bought this pattern in, um, uh, in Bristol in the shop um, like so amazing and the lady in there had them on at the time and they looked absolutely fantastic but again it's been one of those patterns that I'm like oh I don't know whether I should have got it or not it's so wide legs I'm not I'm just not sure about it so I might give that one a go and then I have the um, from stitch to style sewing bee book which oh who else cannot wait for the sewing bee to start? I literally cannot wait. But in there, there is a pair of palazzo pants. And Lisa Comfort from Sew Over It has done a um, review of these. And she did them in a, I think it was almost like a royal blue. And they just look fantastic. And again, just love that style. So again, something that I'm, I'm looking at. But then on a very slightly different note, I picked up this pattern which is a vintage pattern, 1940s vintage, Simplicity 8447. I don't know if anybody has seen this, but this pattern is fabulous. It comes with a jumpsuit or overall type style, but with these um, buttons that come all the way down the side, which is really, really different. Obviously comes in just a trouser style as well. It also comes with the blouse pattern, which has got the double um double collar on it which I, that's probably got a special name um which i quite fancy the idea of making that i think that'd be quite nice but it also comes with a hooded shirt which i've never seen that before not quite sure about that but i love the blouse and i love the trouser style so again something i'd really like to look at especially i do love this detailing that's down here as well just something a bit different so I feel like that was really, really wordy and really talky and I'm so sorry, that's not normally what my videos are about. I like to just show you lots and lots of things. But hopefully, um, out of all of that, some of you might be able to help me with some of the things that I've asked about. Um, give me your thoughts on other patterns and things that you think I might like to try. Tell me about whether you'd like me to do this video diary on the curated closet. It might not be something that I do in the next month or so, but over a course of a, of a couple of months. Um, but other than that, I'll be back hopefully by the end of March to show you some of the things that I've made. So hope you're all having a good week. Everybody stay well, wash your hands and stay as healthy as you can um, and speak to you all again soon. Take care for now then. Bye. Mm -hmm.